What up, my fellow NBA lovers? This is your guy, Marcellus Ease, and Carmelo Anthony is a man with very few options. Carmelo Anthony has already been rejected by two teams that are pretty much in rebuilding mode, the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls. And looking at the Western Conference, most teams from the 13th seed all the way to the first seed are competing for a playoff spot. So they're definitely not looking to have Melo on their team as he does slow down the pace of the game for your team. And defensively, he's just a liability. And offensively, he's not even an efficient scorer, even on open shots. He's completely lost his legs. Carmelo Anthony, every time he drives to the basket, he has to pump fake. He has to regather himself. It's just, he's too slow. Now, even looking at the Eastern Conference, the Orlando Magic, the, the Knicks are definitely not taking him back. The Cleveland Cavaliers, they have young guys that they want to give minutes to. And the rest of the teams, they're pretty much competing. Even LeBron James's team, they're competing for at least a playoff push. And, you know, LeBron has all the power in the world, and even he's not signing Carmelo. Carmelo pretty much, he, it's looking like his career is going to end the same way Allen Iverson's did. There's, there's an ego trip. You know, is Carmelo Anthony basically, basically going to accept the role of being maybe the third or fourth guy off the bench? Because it's looking like that was pretty much the option that was presented to him while he was on the Houston Rockets. Because of analytics, now, you know, we have the raw data of, you know, how efficient certain lineups are and how, you know, certain lineups perform when Melo's on the court versus when he's not on the court. And the Houston Rockets, those are like one of the teams in the league that love analytics. And I'm pretty sure when they saw the analytics on Carmelo Anthony, they already knew it, it was not going to work out. That just may have been a favor to Chris Paul since they're really good friends. But unfortunately, Carmelo, his whole career, he has chosen, you know, pretty much a nice fat contract over winning. But I'm going to go into that in another in another three part series on just Carmelo evaluating what he really meant especially for a lot of Knicks fans, as he did bring basketball back into New York City. But just going on to, into Carmelo right now, he's a man with very limited options. The only way he's getting on an NBA team is if he accepts the role of being maybe the third or fourth guy off the bench. And in Carmelo's mind, he is way better than half these guys. But the only issue is, in today's NBA, which is a team-oriented game, the ball has to move. Carmelo just doesn't fit in. But you guys, let me know what you think. Do you think Carmelo Anthony has options? Or do you think that's just Carmelo Anthony just has a lot of friends maybe that work on ESPN and that work on like, you know, Fox Sports or all the other media outlets because they're making it seem like he has options. And he's a man already rejected by two teams in rebuilding mode with very limited options. But you guys let me know what you think. And you guys stay safe. Peace.